looks like. I know it's been a while, but let me explain. Explain. <laughs> so I took a break because I needed room to grow. Did you grow? Yeah, I think I grew. Okay. Yeah. Look at its beautiful root system. What is the name of your plant, Cam? Pothos. What type of pothos? Gold. A golden pothos. And what name did you give him? Python. <laughs> okay, now it's Kendall Bear's turn. Hi. Pop it over. Look like a mushroom with my cilia. What does it look like? A mushroom to my ceiling. Now Bear is watering his plant. I need you to give him a name. Mr. Green. Mr. Green, that's a good name, babe. <laughs> Ace, high five. Oh yeah. Hi, girl. She's going to repot her red vein plant. Good, now put her in. So Vanna has named her plant Pinky. Let me see. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Soon Pinky's gonna be nice and big. Go. Go girl. So a lot has gone on and I think I just need to take a moment to catch you up a little bit. Basically we've been gone for about two months now. A little over two it's months. It's been over two months. Yeah, it's been over two months. And I'm so, so sorry. You should so come sorry. back in June. I know, I know, but I needed it. Okay. I needed space to figure things out and figure out where we were going and what we were doing. And I feel like I'm coming back stronger. First of all, the kids have graduated. Um, they have graduated onto the new level of homeschool, um, a new phase for us. Man, it just seems so surreal. I started this channel off with a graduation video. You remember that? Kindergarten, yeah, that was Cameron's Yeah, the kids have graduated and moved on to a new level of um, homeschool. Look at my beautiful girl! <laughs> it's our graduation day! <laughs> and things are looking kind of different around here. Different in a good way. Maybe not so different if you followed for a while, then you know that a lot of these things are just a natural progression of um, homeschool for us but yeah they have moved on to first third and fifth grade mm -hmm. can you believe that no when we started this channel we did a graduation video where Cameron was graduating from kindergarten and now he is in the fifth grade, fifth grade. That's almost crazy. as tall as me yeah. When I first set off to take the break, uh, we were basically moving into our dinosaur unit, just like a quick little unit um, to help me transition and give me some space for them to be able to kind of work on a few things. And explore. explore a little bit about the world of dinosaurs and that really just gave me some time. I don't know, I felt this strong sense of urgency to just kind of clean out the clutter and clear up my room and get ready to move over into this new um, phase of homeschool for us. So I spent quite a bit of that time cleaning out my room and decluttering, just trying to keep things as minimal as possible in our homeschool life. Started our patron page mm -hmm. and um, I shared a lot of that over there, um, cleaning out the clutter and my whole thought process on um, just imagining and dreaming what was next for us in homeschool. What's patron? 
<laughs> so Patreon. I mean, is, some people might not know what that is. Uh, it's basically a platform under which you are able to support your favorite creators and it was kind of risky for me because normally um, I, I, I'm i a patron myself of a couple of different people um, mostly artists and other video creatives um, and I've seen other people use the patron space but I've never seen anybody use it for homeschool per se people had been asking me how can they support um, <laughs> support our growth and creativity and a sharing in this space. I really came to this transition space where it was like you are spending quite a lot of time on YouTube and you need to figure out what it is that you want to do. So I started trying some things out. Um, you guys know this. Started doing like cleaning routines and stuff like that, giving my own spin on things to figure out um, if I liked those type of things or what I wanted to do with this channel. Really needed to figure that out. I know that um, people get into monetizing their channel by working with brands and sponsors and those are things I wasn't against but I just knew it needed to be the right setup for me so when I stumbled upon Patreon it was a space where people had been asking how can they support um, and give back to me and I thought it would have been a good fit just to have a place kind of a little community of homeschool mom friends um, a space where I can kind of be myself and just kind of grow. So I started that in December um, making a small announcement about it and so many of you just jumped on and started um, supporting me in that space and I was so grateful and I've done so many things like wrong and so many things right and it's just really been a space for me to grow and I felt really supported in that space. And just. A really authentic way to share something live planning dates and things like that and figuring out what works and what I'd be able to keep up with because ultimately my main focus is the kids and so in building um, creative business I need to do something that will always point me in the direction of the kids and not in a different direction that's been very important I have learned a lot but I think um, I really am starting to get into the groove using that space now being back from um, Utah. Uh, we have gone on a few work trips with Brian, tagged along a little bit, which gave us a chance to just really get out there and explore with the kids and help them connect those dots. Um, or not really help them because they really naturally do that themselves, but a lot of the things that we are studying inside of our little homeschool space um, just getting out and just uncovering that stuff that we've been learning here in the walls of our home. So um, we took a trip to uh, D.C. Mm -hmm. We went to the National Harbor. Um, we saw statues of George Washington and Winston Churchill and... It's Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Then we went to the Back zoo. to D.C. We're at the zoo. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> D.C. is one of our favorite faith places to go. Um, so we went to the zoo and just being able to experience those regular things like trips to the zoo or the aquarium and stuff like that and just being able to apply that knowledge and um, come home with notes and just really explore and discover which is what we're all about here. So y'all know that already. <laughs> I love it.
things like that just going out as a family and using some of that stuff we've learned inside of our homeschool room out in the world then there was utah <laughs> new york city was like the week before utah and serena was pretty tense about about utah and the whole the good and the beautiful convention and pretty tense is an understatement <laughs> yeah it's, it's a mass understatement so she got to go there and try to relax i think that was where she kind of put was still working on what she was going to talk about and her you know her little talks and stuff even though i have found myself on a path that is unfamiliar and uncharted in my world i am also determined to keep moving forward and follow this yellow brick road where it turns out is a road built by faith, love, and homeschool. So, like I said, I told myself that I would slow things down and speak to you straight from my heart. Well, my heart and these note cards I have here because I could certainly get off on some kind of tangent and possibly never recover. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew I'd be nervous talking to you today, but I also knew that I made a commitment to myself and to my family that I would show them what it looks like to live a life driven by faith and love and not by my feelings of fear. So yeah, hello. <laughs> so that was good. We got to go there and spend some time together. And then we went to Utah. Utah was fun. I, I had a blast, but I'm, I'm not the one who's speaking. So I, <laughs> I had a good time. Uh, Utah was beautiful. Um, yeah. Serena did well. She was very, very, very nervous. Utah was great. Yeah, it was nice. I, ultimately, I think that it was a turning point for me. I feel like it was a moment where I realized, you guys know that I'm always trying to like duck the idea that um, that homeschool might be my area of, not expertise, but I don't influence. know, what, what, I guess so, yeah. You're an influencer? No, no, Brian, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they call people? No, stop, 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 Brian. Okay. Okay, so no. But for lack For lack of a better For lack of yeah. a better so way say to it. say it. So say it. No, okay. no, 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 no. I don't wanna say that. Okay. You guys know that I'm always trying to duck that, but the reality is that I love learning with the kids and I love um this life that the Lord has kinda set me in and um I'm just trying to figure out how to be in this space as authentically as possible, which is which is interesting because authenticity is something that I spoke about mm -hmm. um, in one of my sessions. It was also interesting because while preparing for that talk on authenticity, I think it just really gave me time to sit and like study what that meant for me. Wait, I was gonna read it. This was my notes, you guys. I think I shared, you know, how nice and long and colorful my notes were before, but I was reading back over my notes and um, in my closing of my talk, I'm gonna go ahead and share that. Uh, learning to cultivate your authentic homeschool will be an ongoing journey towards finding true joy and happiness in your days. First, by finding out who you are and who you are not um, and teaching from that very place. Secondly, by using competition and comparison as a healthy tool to grow, where your only rival is the you of yesterday. Third, by setting goals, learning to celebrate the tiny victories and tackling your fears daily. And lastly, refusing to trade in your authentic self and authentic homeschool for the approval of others around you. So, then I hit them with a, with all the love in my heart. <laughs> I say thank you. <laughs> Did you laugh at me, Brian? No, I didn't. You didn't no. laugh? But I thought that was interesting because now as, you know, after getting home and trying to figure out like how am I going to move into this new stage of YouTube and homeschool for us, I feel like one of the things that I think of from that closing statement was celebrating your tiny victory. So the tiny victory, which is really not so tiny because it's taken me like 13,000 years to get here. Yeah. 
Not 13,000, Brian. You're supposed to be like, baby, it was only It there. hasn't taken that long, but you <laughs> insist on keep saying that. Anyway, we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel. And it's exciting. It it's is. exciting because I feel like um, even though the growth hasn't come the way that I would have wanted to, I have to recognize that it's important for me not to be ungrateful for my own growth and to look at my own path. And the fact that despite the numbers, I feel like I've grown so much. Like, I feel like I've grown so much as a homeschool mom. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've grown so much as a homeschool family. Don't despise some of the Oh my gosh. Yeah, see? Anyway. <laughs> so. That's what others do. They make messes. <laughs> so we hit 10,000 subscribers and it's a nice little, it's a nice little turning point for us as we move into something a little different. So different how? Different how. Okay. Basically what it boils down to is that um, while I love making videos about curriculum or book hauls and schedule and that type of thing. Um, I do want to share those things, but I just started feeling like it was becoming more about the things and the tools and less about the lessons that we were learning and our kids. So people often ask me where my ideas come from. Like how do I know what to teach the kids? And really, it's just life. I took the classes of like the presents right there. I tore from up there. And now I'm a lot healthier. The dirt is what helps grow the plants. Pop quiz, Cam. Yes. Sir, do you need dirt for a plant to grow? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? So Cameron would be correct. <laughs> That's why I'm not the teacher. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the biggest gift that we have been given or that my kids have been given is their minds. I feel like they have beautiful minds and that the Lord gave them to them and they work perfectly, you know, just the way he made them. And so I feel like all these other things are just tools for us to grow in homeschool. And while I've enjoyed sharing those things along the way, I feel like it's time for me to stop focusing or for me to sh stop sharing in a way that puts the focus on the tools, mm -hmm. curriculum and the books and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, obviously, I'm still going to uh, share those things, but I, and I want to share those things, but I just needed a different space to do that, and that's where Patreon comes in. Um, it's not a space where I'm guaranteeing or promising anything um, on a super consistent basis. I mean, I do want to be consistent and regular with them, but. It's more like a space for friendship, a space where I can just kind of naturally share the things that I'm doing as homeschool mom, mm -hmm. um, to share some of my goals and some of our vision and, and book hauls and that type of thing when I'm able to. But um, I really wanted to use the main channel as I had intended in the beginning. So this is the Falco family um, where life is full of lessons so we live and we learn. I want to put the focus back on the kids and not the tools and resources that we're using. So I'll be sharing some of that because I do like to share those bits and pieces but um, I just want them to be to share in a space that is small and quaint and raw and you know, not so much work for me to put up. So mm -hmm. Brian has been taking over filming those types of videos. So if I do a quick book haul or something like that, he just puts up a rough edit to be able to share with my patron fam. Well, I mean, I, if he wants I, to... 
I thought I was doing high quality stuff. Okay, well. <laughs> you just kind of got on there and told people I do love at it. So. <laughs> Uh, no, babe. Okay. I mean, you're getting better, but what I'm saying is it doesn't have to be that way. It could you're be. You're basically just putting out a disclaimer so they know I didn't do this. He did that. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I see why you asked me to be here. But he's doing so well. Okay. <laughs> but then that gives me space to keep the focus on the kids and mm -hmm. tell the story of the kids in our homeschool journeys and the adventures mm -hmm. that come up, both big and small. Um, which I found the small things really aren't so small at all. So. Do I just break it? This, this on this side is mine. Dang, right? Or big world. Soft <laughs> piece. <laughs> Did it get all night? These are really small. Oh, they're really small. I need a magnifying glass. Supposed to be in the strawberry. Make more seeds so you can plant more if you just take them out of the strawberry before you eat it. Did she say anything about the river? Every year to Mexico and Central America. Do you know where Mexico or Central America is? Yeah. Show me, girl. Show me. What is that, Mama? Central America. <laughs> they live in. They live in. So you're reading Freddie and Linda? <laughs> you were saying what's going to happen for what are we, Oh, okay. So what, are you, what is this channel going to look like? What is this channel going to look like? The channel changes. So you guys know that um, one of my gifts is in photography and video, and I want to. I want to get better at that and um, so I am going to be using this space to get better at my storytelling so I think we settled on starting off with a weekly video just documenting our week of homeschool and um, how we live and we learn because life is full of lessons so right? we live and we learn, so we live and we learn. <laughs> anyway so that is what you can expect if you want some um, behind the scenes of what if you want to basically it's if you want to support what we are doing if we have been a blessing to you and you felt led to support then joining patron would be might be a thing for you now I did have people ask many questions about you know is that the only way to get those types of videos and um yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it is going to be because I need room I need room to grow and to do what I feel like the Lord is asking me to do and so um, for this space this main channel I'm going to be doing that weekly video where the focus is back on the kid yeah okay so I feel like this is getting lengthy but I did just want to I, I want um, each of these videos to have a little section where we just kind of sit down and chat and sharing a bit of what has been going on throughout the week so this week um, we really focused on growing so we're starting our botany unit mm -hmm. and a part of our botany unit is having plants to study because it is the study of plants so um, I share on my patron very naturally and authentically how the plants kind of unfolded they started out as a plan for a whole square garden and that went up in Smoke. Just didn't happen. <laughs> didn't, happen. didn't happen. But we recovered. We recovered and I have plants and I talk about that whole process of recovering and how we're moving into it and I think it's perfect timing because it just really feels like it's time to grow. Like and we needed room and space to grow. So mm -hmm. I think we're gonna really enjoy studying our plants over the next month or so. The kids have their own plants. They yeah. we just potted their plants and that was super cute to watch them do that. And this is the botany unit. <laughs> You can have a snack if you can tell me what botany is. It's the study of what? Botany is studying plants. <laughs> How'd you know that? Because mommy said we're gonna learn about botany and she said it was perfect. <laughs> I guess that means you can have a snack. Okay, so now look at that. Look at that root system. Starting somewhere, choosing 
say live and learn. This is how we do body. Full effect. Y'all, look at that rainbow. Look at the rainbow. <laughs> It's the small things in life that are the most beautiful. Wait, Wait a minute. Help. Yeah! Ah. There it is. <laughs> you see the rainbow, Vanna? Yeah! <laughs> Do you see it? Ah. Rainy! <laughs> Great job. Alright, so thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You gonna come back next week? I'll be here. I'll be here. If you're here, I'll be here. <laughs> That's how we do it. So we'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye. Bye. Alright, we did it. Yay! Welcome to the Fucker family. Take one. Hey, it's Cam. It's Savannah. It's Kendall. From the Farco family. Where life is full of lessons. So we live and we learn. Bye.